Did you know Shug? I know Shug, yeah. I've known Shug. I mean, I've known Shug uh, before. Um, you know, he the the um, the death row thing. You know, all of that. Um, I've I've known him be, uh, from the right when my records that just came out, and I think he was a security guard or maybe before you said maybe he was a bodyguard. But anyways, I had got into it with with certain cats, and uh, it was a, it was a head up. I went, I was ready to go head up with these fools. I forget what set they was from or whatever. But he told me, you know, to come and get him if he, had, you know, wanted some help or anything. He said, because he knocked, a, he knocked out one of their homies in his house shoes. <laughs> so I've been knowing him since way back, you know, and that was like in 89, actually, or it might have been 90. But, you know, I mean, that's how me and him became cool because he was, you know, he, me and him, we just laughed and we was cool from another standpoint. So from that standpoint to, you know, we didn't see each other a lot. You know, when I go to the club, you know, he might be there working security or something like that. Uh, but other than that, you know, I didn't see him for a while, you know, then, uh, so I'm in Vegas. Um, I guess he, I forget whose club or was it his club, whatever. Um, I only seen him, saw him just a few different times, you know, and every time, uh, you know, we were cool with it. So did you end up getting any help from Shug when he offered it to you? Nah, because then, you know what I'm saying, then nobody, you know, they they didn't want nothing. Once they realistically seen that I'm down to go head up, you know, uh, they didn't want nothing. You know, it was a whole different twist, you know. But he's like, just in case, you know, he's like, I'm with you. I'm down with you, you know what I'm saying? I, like I said, I knocked the biggest one of them fools out of my house, too, so... You let me know, you know what I'm saying? And he was just letting me know. He was like, you know, because Wild Thing had come out. And once that song, that's not the type of song, that's not a gangster song, you know? So people not realizing, they're thinking you one type of person instead of, you know, the type of person that you are. But if you're from, from Los Angeles and with a name like Loke, then they know that means something. You know what I'm saying? But if you go to Texas or Chicago or New York, they don't know. That's, that's, that, that's just a pop song. And that guy's that tone low. But, and people, and let me say this, that was funny. A lot of people don't think my name is, I mean, thought my name is really tone low. My name is Tony Smith or Anthony Smith. Now, when I tell them my real last name, they'd be like, get out of here. If you don't want to tell us your name, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to. They don't come with that bullshit. Your name is Tone Loke. I mean, they really thought Loke was a name. And I'm like, no, that's, you know, a different type of name. That's just a nickname, you know. Right. But what was the issue over? What was y'all beefing over, yo? About, what, with the scrapping thing? Yeah, yeah, the dudes that was messing with you. Oh, because they got into it with one of my cousins. They got into it with one of my cousins. And they beat up one of my cousins. The ear, you know, was just, you know, uh just super big so when i went back up there to approach it you know by myself i you know i was hot i was pissed you know like what's up you know and uh and nobody went not you know bottom line it was a whole different twist a whole different twist so there it was there so never had to get down with them fools he had offered help so me and him was always cool since that day um i never had you know it wasn't no Crip of blood thing and nothing like that. You know, he was just a straight up cool brother, you know, to when I saw him, you know, you know, when, when I met him, I'll say, and every time that I would see him, 